ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Explorer Diving's YouTube channel. On today's video we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be diving the Wolf Island of Two Ferry, which is a boat dive and not a shore dive. So let's go dive. The Wolf Islander 2 is the first proposedly sunk ship in Ontario as an artificial reef. It was intentionally sunk in September 1985 and has been enjoyed by many divers ever since. The ferry was built in Collingwood, Ontario in 1946 and was a side entry ferry and measures a total of 146 feet. She was to be launched as the Ottawa Maybrook as a gift to the people of China after World War II. But with the rise of the communist government in China, the ship was kept in Canada. As an alternative, the ferry was sent to Kingston to replace the existing Wolf Islander ferry. In spring of 1947, a deckhand was tragically killed on the boat. The Wolf Islander 2 was the main ferry to the island until 1975 when the larger Wolf Islander 3 was delivered. The ship was held in standby for when local ferries needed fixing or had any other issues. It was also used as a spectator ship for the sailing races during the 1976 Montreal Olympic Regatta held in Kingston as mentioned in our first video, Explorer Diving Portsmouth Olympic Harbour. She was acquired by the Marines Museum in 1984 for the purpose of being put on display as a floating exhibit. Later that year, the Marine Museum acquired the Canadian Coast Guard ship Alexander Henry. Seeing no need for the ferry as a floating exhibit, the museum looked for other opportunities for this ship. It was decided the ferry would be sold to the Comet Corporation for only a sum of $100 and was to be used as a dive attraction. A large amount of people residing on Wolf Island that over the years have been passengers on the ferry were not pleased about this decision. The Comet Corporation started the process of preparing the ship for her resting place with a budget of only $8,000. The corporation had to sell off parts of the ferry to raise money for this endeavour. Some people also paid to have their names engraved into the portholes for a lasting memory. On September the 21st of 1985, the ship was sunk upright in its present location where she gratefully rests today. The Wolf Island 2 has become Kingston's most renowned and most visited shipwreck and has helped preserve other area wrecks. The ship sits in roughly 85 to 90 feet of water with a top in roughly 35 feet of water. It was prepared for divers so it does allow for penetration. It is highly recommended though that only trained divers should penetrate any wreck. There are multiple decks to this side entry car ferry. Swimming around the saloon on the walkway allows you to see a different side of this ship. Large schools of fish and eels are seen on the ship, especially after dark. After being sunk, many scuba divers have brought other objects to leave on the ship's now famous ferry deck, scuba playground. You can see two motorcycles on the car deck, bicycles, a lawnmower and a floor safe just off the wreck. There is also a dive line roughly from the pilot house to the front of the boat which lies at about 55 feet of water. It is not uncommon for there to be air bubbles trapped in the ship from exhaust bubbles. It is not recommended breathing this air as it is very stale and divers have been known to bring a cigarette down on the wreck to smoke. Every so often someone will take a snow shovel underwater to sho shovel some of the zebra mussels off of the wreck. The front of the wreck does have an interesting deck to swim around. The car deck has cut out holes in it, in it for penetration but caution should always be observed. The engine was also removed and allows swimming into the engine room in which you will be able to swim 
out to the top of the ferry. Preserve RX or POW of Kingston maintains mooring floats on the shipwreck. They are usually up around the end of May and come down in October. The number of charter operators that have declined recently in the years but there still are operators that will take you to this site. It is well protected by Wolf Island as the weather comes from Lake Ontario. This is a dive that is highly recommended and every diver visiting Kingston should take part in as it offers something for beginners to advanced divers. Just another example of the wonderful scuba diving adventures that could be had here in Kingston, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thanks again for watching the videos. Don't forget if you really are enjoying the videos, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And if you guys have got any questions about any of the videos we're doing, just drop a comment down below. On our next video, we're going to be doing another shore dive. It's going to be the West Street Boat Launch. Let's go dive.